Hey guys, Sean with American Window Concepts. Let's talk about something that I see all too often and customers ask me about, and it's a seal failure. What is it and what to look out for? Let's get into this. I'm holding a dual pane glass unit, okay? So it's gonna have the spacer itself, it's gonna have two panes of glass, and inside of here would be your argon gas or a krypton, whatever it is that you're using on the interior of this. When a seal failure happens, all that's happening is that this seal itself, whatever is there, is splitting from the glass. Be it small, be it large, but something has split, and that's a seal failure, obviously, right? Just like it sounds. What happens is, the argon gas that has no moisture leaks out. Then our air that we breathe, which has a lot of moisture, goes inside and replaces that argon. Now, what happens is you create clouds on the inside. If it's two panes of clear glass only, then you see kind of like a cloudy look. It's You'll wash it and you can't get it clean no matter what you do inside and out and you're like, well, I, I, I can't get this window clean. So that is indicative of a seal failure. If you have low E coating, the thicker the low E, the more aggressive this rust will look. If you have like a low E1, then what you end up seeing is more of like, kind of a, like a scratchy look. If you have like a low E2, low E3, then it looks like a purple discoloration. Purple or burgundy, it looks crazy. I'll drive around the neighborhoods and, and um, I'll point these things out all over the place. Older vinyl windows that were in an apartment building and you see 50% of them are all failed out. The question becomes, well, what should you do about it? There's a couple of easy things. You shouldn't have to replace your whole window The you know in, in its entirety. Save your money. What you can do is just call out a glass shop who will come out and determine what style of low E you have, or if it's low E at all, place an order for the overall glass size and then just replace it. So if you have a vinyl window, that's typically pretty easy. I mean, we'll go out and do those all the time as well. I mean, it's, it's quite, quite easy. I was a service technician for years, so I totally get it. Then there's also other styles of windows that are maybe a dual pane aluminum window. I don't like to get into that kind of stuff because I don't carry a lot of the replacement parts for that, but there's plenty of uh, glass shops out there that are happy to help you with that. Getting the, the glass ordered in total, so they'll come out with a brand new dual pane pre-sealed glass unit take out the old one completely and then set in a brand new dual pane glass unit. It's a simple fix, but I just want to be able to help you out. You know, do, you, do I need a whole new window? I get that asked all the time. Do I need a whole new window? No, 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 no. Just replace the dual pane glass unit. Save yourself some money and uh, I think you'll be happy in the end. Hopefully this helps. If you guys have any questions, reach out to us. If not, make it a great day. Hey guys, if you live in the central coast of California and are interested in a free estimate for windows and doors, go to our website, AmericanWindowConcepts.com and request a quote there. Thank you so much. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to stay up to date on future videos coming, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. Tons of information about windows come out every week.